Nobody ever figures out what life is all about, and it doesn't matter. Explore the world. Nearly everything is really interesting if you go into it deeply enough. Richard Feynman. This is a video biography for Richard Feynman, who was considered to be one of the most influential theoretical physicists in history. And in this video, I will mainly talk about his life and his accomplishments. Richard Feynman was born on 11 May in 1918 in New York, and his parents were both Jewish. He also had a little sister, who also became a physicist later on. Although his parents were both Jewish, they never educated Feynman in a traditional and religious way. Instead, they bought a set of white and blue tiles, and placed them in various ways, teaching Richard recognized shapes and simple mathematic principles. Because of this. Feynman already displayed a great interest in physics and math since his childhood. In 1935, he successfully entered MIT to learn math and physics, and he eventually earned his PhD from Princeton University in 1942. Same year in 1942, after he graduated. The 24 years old Feynman entered the Manhattan Project, which was a project for building nuclear weapons. After three years of hard work, in 1945, the first nuclear bomb was tested on the desert in New Mexico, and it was very successful. In 1951, he started to teach. In California, in Institute of Technology, and because of his special way of teaching, he was pretty popular among students. In 1965, Feynman won a Nobel Prize for his accomplishments on quantum electrodynamics. Even after he won the prize, he continued his research and. Published various advanced works until his older age. During his older age, he began to spend more time on art and music. He drew a lot as he thought beauty is equally important as physics. In 1986, Feynman Feynman participated in the investigation of. The accident of HMS Challenger, and explain the cause of this accident by using just one glass of cold water and a rubber ring. Unfortunately, Richard Feynman died of abdominal cancer on February fifteen, nineteen eighty eight, in Los Angeles. He was sixty nine years old by the time he died. Although being a physicist, Feynman was actually a pretty humorous person, which was quite different from the stereo stereotype about serious, socially an- anxious physicists. This was one primarily reasons why Feynman was popular among students. He loved to do pranks more than anything in the world. He especially loved safe cracking. One such example would be, well, he was working on the atomic bomb during World War Two. He tried to amuse himself by learning how to crack a lock, and he warned the workers before he actually did it. And for many times, the officials. Try to install a better locks, but 
Freeman who actually studied the new ones systematically and eventually given a little time he could open it again at will. And moreover, giving a report of the quality of the locks. Anyway, this is just one of the many interesting stories about Freeman. Nonetheless, this is also the reason why Freeman was a quite a special person in comparison to other physicists. Thanks for watching.